Good morning, good morning, beloved. The Holy Spirit has just laid this word in my spirit. The unconventional move of God. The unusual move of God. God is about to move in an unconventional way in your life. Rabo siko rabashi kalabayendiri busanda. Now, when you look at 1 Samuel, Saul went to go and look for lost donkeys. His father's donkeys were lost. And he went to go and hunt for the lost donkeys. But when he arrived, Jesus, he was told that the donkeys were found three days ago. And that actually, God had an assignment with his life. God had an assignment with him. So he used the diversion of the lost donkeys to get him where he wanted him to go. God has sent me to tell you your challenge is a diversion. Your challenge is a tool that God is going to use to bless you. Rabba Sila Kayende. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Now, in First Samuel, uh, in First Samuel, verse seventeen, it says, "Ah, oh my God, oh Jesus!" When Samuel caught sight of Saul, the Lord said to him, "This is the man I spoke to you about. He will govern my people. This is the man I spoke to you about. He will govern my people." Now, the prophetic revelation that the Holy Spirit gave me regarding this word is that there are people whom God is speaking to concerning you. There are people whom God is speaking to concerning you. And God will use those people to bless you. There are people whom God is speaking to concerning you. There is about to be an unusual move in your life, an unconventional move. A way that is not usual. A way th that you will not understand at first that is very unconventional, unusual, but yet God will use it to bless your life. That challenge, that obstacle is not meant to burden you. It's meant to bless you. I declare and I decree the supernatural, unconventional move of God in your life. I declare and decree that you will come back and testify of the God of the unconventional movement. Be blessed, beloved.